So typically I take care of patients that have conditions of the neck and the low back. I think the nicest thing is seeing someone come in that has a problem, figuring out what their problem is, trying to help them get through their problem and watching them through the process. The nicest thing is when they come back after everything is done and they say that they feel better. The best part of my job is that every day I come in, it's, it's a new challenge. The nicest thing is when people come back and they remember you from 10 years ago, or if you see somebody out in the grocery store, or you see them in the mall, um, and it's, it's really, it's a small community. It's nice running into people. Part of what we do is uh, teach medical students, we teach residents, and the neatest thing is when we see someone come back that uh, is now uh, an independent practitioner. And it's nice to know that you had an impact not only on your own patients, but you had an impact on their patients, and so it multiplies what we're able to do. The time that I went to medical school, I was the first person in my family, and uh, it really was mostly uh, something that I always felt like I wanted to do, and it just felt natural. So I was actually in practice for almost 10 years before I joined the Crystal Clinic. And Crystal Clinic obviously has a great reputation. Uh, I knew most of the doctors in the group, and they actually treated me like a partner long before I actually became a partner. So it was a very natural fit. It's probably not that surprising because a lot of folks know this, but I ride a motorcycle. And it's one of my great passions in the summertime. And I'll ride it to work. Uh, and a lot of times uh, the patients that know will actually see me in office hours with my riding boots on. Most folks stay on the highway. I always tend to go off the beaten path. And I think that is something that um, is probably the best part of riding. I think it can be very intimidating coming in to see a doctor. Um, and so I rarely describe myself as a spine surgeon. I like to call myself a spine specialist. And so our job really is to try to help you figure out what the problem is, try to come up with a mutually agreeable treatment, and then see that treatment through to its conclusion. Sometimes that conclusion ends up in surgery, but oftentimes it doesn't. And so the biggest thing is we don't want you to be scared to come in and be seen. And just because you come in doesn't mean that you're going to end up with surgery. Our job is to get you back to where you want to be and get you back on track.